This is a pre-intro to the Auto Dynamesh. I will have a link below the video if you want to give this a try. And I'm going to be going over some more details after this little intro here. And uh, please stick with it because I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and some do's and don'ts. And I'm going to be going over this one part real quick and I'll be going over it again. Um, basically this works with a Dynamesh right here. As you can see under the geometry we have Dynamesh. And um, what it does is um, you have an option that you can add the meshes or subtract them. And for this to combine these, you used to have to hold the control key, click and drag like that. All right. I've already got this set up. This is running the script right now. So this is going to automatically do it without me having to drag like this. As soon as I let go of my mouse button, it's going to automatically do it for me. So if I drag here and drag up, as soon as I let go, it's going to automatically do it. So if I select here, drag across, as soon as I let go of the button, it automatically upstates. Alright, we're going to go into the next part. Hello, this is Easy and welcome to the Auto Dynamesh. Um, you can load this script through the Z script and load. This is not a uh, Z plugin. Or you can put it somewhere in your light box. I have mine over here in my brushes for some reason and and here it is over on the right. It's called the uh, Auto Dynamesh. We'll click that and when we do we'll have to open up this tutorial window down here at the bottom. Then we have these options here. Um, first we need a Dynamesh or make it a Dynamesh. Well there happen to be one in here in the projects and we'll use this one here. So this is a Dynamesh. If you don't know what a Dynamesh is, um, you can make anything a Dynamesh. Go into the geometry and turning on the Dynamesh. All right now, by default, this script is off automatically, so nothing is going to work. What the Auto Dynamesh does, if you recall, um, to make this a uh, complete mesh, uh, you would have to click and drag like you were doing a mask. Auto Dynamesh automatically does it as soon as you let go of the mouse left mouse button. So for to turn this on, we have this slider here. Um, you can set the slider to number two or one. All right. Uh, there's really not a difference between two or one, but long as you move this slider to two or one, it will automatically come on. So I'm just going to leave everything at default and leave it off, and just to show you. So we're going to select the nose here and we're going to turn on the polyframes here. Let me zoom this back just a little bit. And when I do this and I let go, well, nothing happened because the script's not on. Control Z that. So we're going to move the slider. I'll move it to one. I prefer number one. And as soon as I did that and I click and I drag out, as soon as I let go, it automatically remeshes it or dynamesh it to itself. So if I press the smooth here, it would automatically um, do it itself. Um, this works with other um, brushes here. Here's the mesh insert. Uh, this time I'm going to press the Alt key and drag out. And with the Alt key, this will make a Z sub here. And this can be a little bit buggy here, so you might um, be very careful. Um, on the alt which is the Z sub here and we'll do one for let's say the mouth and all I'm doing is letting go and it's updating automatically alright I'm not gonna bore you here I'm gonna get into some more details here in just a second or some more fundamental and we'll smooth this. As soon as I let go of the mouse button, it updates itself. Alright, I'm going to use uh, one of these braid brushes I made myself here. Uh, another thing is it will make that brush window open kind of slow while the script is running. 
So let me turn on down my draw size. And we'll just drag out and drag around like this. And you can see it works pretty quick. Now if I dra draw real long here, you might need to wait a few extra seconds before you start moving this around. And we'll smooth this out a little bit here. And then we get something like this. All right, when we are using this script, all right, if you use another plugin, this script will no longer work. If I was to use, say, the Projection Master, it will no longer work. Uh, another thing is, when I'm using Lightbox here, um, it gives it a tendency to hang up. So we need to turn this script off. All we got to do is press here. Then it says, Auto Dynamesh is now off. You must move the slider to 1 or 2 to um, start it again. And when I did that, it jumped up to 3. So it is automatically off right now. So so once again, um, if we want to use the light box, we can go in and use it. Um, like I said, it's it's kind of buggy that when you use light box, you got to automatically turn that off. Then when you get ready, then you can turn it on by just moving the slider. Um, if you use any of these deformation sliders over here, this will automatically update when you move a slider and let go. If I move this over here and let go, it will automatically update. Let's try this one here. I switched over to the move curve and I got a curve up here I made and I'm gonna pull it up and as soon as I let go it's gonna automatically update. I'm gonna draw another one here and we'll do it one more time and I'll pull way out you can see the polygon stretching and as soon as I let go they'll come back all even here. Might want to smooth this out a little bit here smooth it and it'll automatically update. Um, one of this thing script does right here is um, if you're trying to mask something right here and you let go well the way the script works it's got to clear that mask so when you're trying to use some masking more than likely it's not going to work for you unless you shut the script off another thing is as you can see I have it set to number one and um, it would automatically shut off if I move this slider also instead of pressing the little switch here so if I was to drag here um, now the script is shut off I move it back to one you can see now it's still there so we're going to have to press this switch here and we're going to move the slider back to one and now the script's running so Pretty much masking is out of the question until you turn the script off. Another thing, if this is not a Dynamesh, this will not work. Even though if I move the slider here and my Dynamesh is off, this will not automatically turn it into a Dynamesh. So if I was to do something under here, nothing's going to happen. So what we're going to do is turn it into a Dynamesh. And let's go ahead and do something real quick here. And we'll do this. And if you want to do any of your adjustments here, you can. See how that works.
I'm going to do a quick example of the default dog, but this time we're going to use the uh, slice curve brush here. And what we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and we're going to use the groups for this and we're going to project this and we're going to bump up the geometry and press the Dynamesh. Then we're going to turn the script on by just moving the slider. Okay, move the slider once, don't move it again, else it'll turn it off. If typically if you want to shut it off, press the auto dynamesh switch here. So since I got the slice curve active, I'm going to control shift click, bring up that um, brush here. And then we're going to start chopping through this. And it's automatically doing it, so I'll just go here. And um, it's taking a little bit longer because of my resolution. And I will do one more here. Then when this is done, um, what I can do is I want to come over here to the subtools. And we're going to, since it's all grouped together, uh, and, but it still has separate groups, I can use a group split. And when I do this, we'll just turn off the play frames and then we'll use expose. And you can see the dog here. Okay, I pause the video and I'm going to use the one with the clipping brush here. And we're going to drag it out and let go. And I'll do that one more time. And you can see it remeshing it right there. I'm going to use one with the um, action lines here, so select anywhere you want. I'll just click and drag out. And we're just going to do something here. Go, let's do something else. Which is kind of neat. Well, give it a try. It's um, pretty fun. Um, like I said, you don't have to do all this uh, remove the mask and for it to um, redynamesh itself, and it's pretty fun and uh, real simple to use.